Yo guys, as you know, I'm vlogging now on this channel. I'm with my friend Rachel. She doesn't want to be on camera apparently. Can you are you gonna be on camera? Maybe a little bit. Alright, so here's Rachel. Say hi. Hey guys. We're going to play tennis right now and I look weird as fuck with this camera because I never do this, but I figured I might I might as well try it. Since I wanna vlog and remember the stuff I do. So I think this is a good first step. And I, I guess with that we'll talk we'll talk more in the next clip, but yeah, like I said, we're going to play tennis. And tomorrow's my birthday. So we're also going to Cheesecake Factory. Maybe. <laughs> we're definitely going to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Alright, we've arrived at the tennis court. What? I said I made some progress. And your muscles? Let me yeah. see. Wow, you've been working out. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna play some tennis. It's been a while since we played tennis, and I'm like a super beginner at this in the first place, and we haven't played in like, what, like four or five, six months, so I'm gonna be really rusty. In high school, I was varsity, first singles, so I was like the best one on a team. And it doesn't matter if you're the best on a team if your team sucks, but our team was also like seventh out of 30 or 25 or something in Middlesex so this is where we played that tournament where we found out what rank we were it was actually these courts and it was really fun so Rachel sent this to me uh, before and I didn't get it until now yo we're getting our fucking tennis in today bitch I'll be there in just a minute I'm at the Woodbridge Center light right now I will see you in just a minute. I'm at the light right now to turn into your plaza. I mean, your your apartment complex. So I'll see you in like 30 seconds. Bye. That was definitely a different one. Did you take two? I guess. <laughs> Were you practicing? No, that was at different time points. Like at first I was like, I'll be there in just a minute. And then I was like, I'll be there in 30 seconds. I see. Oh, I see, I yeah. see. I don't even know what to say to that. Can you tell us about your research paper? All right, so. All right, so we're playing tennis, and I asked Rachel about her research. It's something about biochemistry and probiotic research. Yeah. Okay, so there's two different bacteria. Yeah. The genus and the species. Mm. There are two different ones, right? Yeah. And then each different genus species whatever has a strain yeah so there's two kind of like bacterias yeah that are exactly. totally different yeah I mean they're similar in a sense but they're different yeah okay you got bacteria and you put it on duckweed to see if it would grow kind of we got fresh samples of duckweed we also got like a commercial food product that was already processed and dried into a powder and so we took the fresh samples and dried them and then also pulverized them into a powder and then we basically mixed that with a certain amount of the bacteria and then monitored the growth of it to see if it could grow and so we found that there was amazing growth and we used scanning electron microscopy to visualize that growth and we see that there was some like amazing biofilms which is when bacteria grow like all together on a, on a um, surface and so that's really good for probiotics so you know it was it was really really awesome stuff it took a while so the purpose of it was to find to be able to ferment it into an animal feed additive because these two strains have been tested for like over 10 years in like chicken and poultry for example and like other other types of animals so it could be a way to like add it into the feed and like increase health and like other other benefits so you would add the bacteria into the feed or you would add the duckweed into the the, the fermented duckweed and so the bacteria was sort of a way to see what would happen inside the intestines of the person eating it or what was the purpose of the bacteria it's a probiotic okay 
so it helps to um, it's it's really good for the gut microbiome the probiotic is the bacteria or yeah. the duckweed the, 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 the probiotic is the bacteria okay and so what was the purpose of so you said growing it was to see if it would grow better on duckweed yeah like if it would grow at all okay and it did yeah and it did a lot and so what was like the conclusion of of that like what what made the research paper like exciting like what applications can you can you do mm -hmm. with what you learned yeah so we found that the one strain i was telling you about b subtilis catmere 1933 okay grew really good like like billions per milligram okay per gram on the on one of the fresh duckweed samples and so that i mean the other one grew really well too so we showed that it could serve as a good substrate for growth of these microbes right and that it could potentially be added into animal feed as a as a probiotic supplement but of course you know more research is needed okay so you're saying if I could summarize you're saying that you showed that putting this duckweed into an animal will help their it's not that's not what it is no all right no, because we didn't work we didn't test it in animals so we can't really say that okay others other studies have uh, you know used duckweed as a supplement in feeds and have shown promising results so that's why we chose it right it's, we also chose it because it's really economically uh, effective and it grows really fast there's a lot of it's like a superfood yeah. there's a lot of other applications that can be used in it so there's this whole big picture idea of say if you have a farm with a lake growing duckweed on it you know you can harvest that duckweed you can also just use it as a feed supplement in general um, it can be used for just wastewater treatment so you know you're preventing runoff from that farm preventing algae blooms downstream can also be used for making biogas etc so it, it's pretty amazing stuff I didn't really understand you'd have to explain it to me again yeah. or no like I'll listen and I'll understand what you're saying but like I'm trying to like su like boil it down to like one, one thesis okay. of like what makes it so revolutionary or like important or exciting yeah well basically I mean the main results of our study just show that these particular strains can grow on these particular types of duckweed and so that would just be like a basic result of it but there could be further applications of that like for example one one that you think is really cool well the main application of it is using it for probiotic supplementation in animals and so and when so I try to explain that like it you you put the duckweed inside the intestines of the animal mm -hmm. and then their own natural gut bacteria grows better because of the duckweed that's inside their stomach, right? Yeah, yeah. That's so, what I was trying to say before you, you kind of nodded your head. Okay. But that's essentially what you were saying, right? That's essentially the idea. You know, that's what probiotics do. They help to regulate the gut microbiome and like restore, let's say, if there's an infection or something or even just overall health. It's really good for the animal. And so farmers, you know, wouldn't have to really use as much antibiotics, for example, or let's say if they are using antibiotics, it can help to restore that natural gut system. Okay. I get it now. All right. See, it took seven, eight minutes of explaining, but I think I understand. We can, we can go back to playing tennis. All right. So we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to serve. Man, this camera is so nice compared to my phone. Here, let me flip this. Alright, so we have all the time in the world, but I'm going to try to be quick again, like for my snap story. It was lit, you should see it. Follow me. Plug, I guess. Um, so you want to have your racket holding it like a hammer. So like the V, the, vor the vortex, or what is that called? Vertex? The vertex of your hand, like your thumb and your pointer finger. You want to have at the top of your racket kind of aligned with this frame 
it's awkward, but that's how it works. Like that's how you're. It's called continental grip, uh, or like extreme eastern, I think, or what eastern or western. I think it's eastern. But anyway, uh, you want to have your foot pointed at that pole over there, and then your back foot parallel to this line, and then you want to come underneath the ball and kind of brush the ball with your racket. So let's see if I can hit it with uh, on the first try. All right, I messed up. Let's first try again. I'm gonna try to put some power behind it. There you go. Nice. You couldn't really hear it because it like brushed a lot, but that's what you want because then you're gonna get a lot of spin. That was at least 90, like 90 miles an hour, maybe 80. That was a really good, that was like my strength in, in tennis, on um, my serve. Not a lot of people could actually pick it up, so. Get it in the corner like that. All right, your turn, Rachel. All right, so Rachel's got practicing right now, throwing the ball like I taught her. Cause first you need a you need a toss your toss is really important. So right now I'm just telling her to throw it up and down. What I was saying before is like when you toss the ball, like pretend you have a racket. Like you don't even need a racket. You just need to like go back on your legs when you toss it. So watch watch my back legs when I toss it. Go like this. Like I kind of throw the ball behind me almost, but it's above me. I'm I, it's kind of like a rubber band. Like you want it behind you almost. So when your racket makes contact, you're like slingshotting into it. So it's like, you know what I mean? It just like falls down onto your racket so you could like whack it. And then when you're tossing it, have your racket back too. Over your shoulder. Yeah, like that. How's that? That was good. Now, whack it. Guys, I haven't done this in like, that long, so... Nope, okay. Nervous. No. Oh, that was good. You hit it at least. You made something. contact. It was something. We're gonna stand here until you get it in. <laughs> Not in the basket in that box, just kidding. So yeah, you see how tossing is really important? Okay, we got into the other tennis court. Try to aim on that, like to that box over there. You wanna aim in that box. So yeah, like I was saying, if you stood on that side, that would be good. Which side? No, but this is better because you're practicing on the side that's weaker. There you go, that's perfect. Now if you aimed a little bit, like, pretend like you want to hit it over there. Pretend you want to hit it over there. Okay. You'll probably get it in there. Pretend you want to hit it over there. And, like, that, like, <laughs> exaggerate it, and okay. you'll probably land over there. Okay, you need to pretend more. <laughs> like, pretend like you want to hit it there. I'm serious. Okay. You're still kind of subconsciously, I think, aiming to the right spot, which is why you're not getting it. Wait, I thought you said aim to the right. Aim, like, off court. Oh, okay. You okay. know what I mean? Because okay. right now you're aiming there and hitting there, so if you aim there, like, okay. to the right a little bit, you'll land. Nice. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, no, I don't think you have to talk. I feel like go. it was just gonna be like a... Like a... <laughs> like an epic, like... T -t 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 I can't juggle though, so like... I'm not that good, like I know how, kinda. You were just doing it so good. Hold on, I need heavy roll. Alright, ready? Get, you gotta get into the groove of it. <laughs> oh, no. 
you want to do you want to do one hand like I was explaining to Rachel you do like this which is a lot easier like starting out if you want to learn like the hand eye coordination right but yeah there you go this <laughs> yeah I don't even know how to start I mean you just throw it up and catch it yeah you just kind of yellow just it. throw it up and catch it yeah there's got to be some kind of technique I don't know I guess you have to throw it like close to you it's I like guess just the up, technique like, is like learning on your own and just you have to get the muscle memory yeah trial and error like trial and error yeah <laughs> not not today. Maybe next next time. I'll practice. At home while Maybe. you're. <laughs> yeah, I'll practice in my free time. All right, guys. We're gonna play some tennis for you guys now. <laughs> Don't have too high of expectations, okay? She's really good. She's just lowering her Amazing. expectations yeah. so that when you see how she actually plays, you're gonna be blown away. Yeah, I've been playing for years. For approximately 0.5 years. Yeah. That mirror stuff. Alright guys, that's it for the tennis now. I told you she was good. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to cheesecake. See you there. <laughs> I'll, you walk over. We are not redoing this. This is the first take. Alright guys. She did really good. What can I say? I'm a pro. <laughs> yep. That was way better. So we ended up not going to Cheesecake Factory. What? Mm -hmm. Filming? Yeah. Okay. I thought you said coming. Oh no. Like over there. Okay. But yeah, we're at Halal getting food. Yes. Cheesecake wanted us to wait two hours. Yeah, so we didn't go but there. We didn't got time for that. But it's okay because we got this. More coming. Lamb gyro and chicken gyro. Platter sandwich. Wow, my camera's amazing. I've never filmed with this camera before. Look how good it is. Look at the, look at the stabilization. Nice. It does look really good. It's like 4K and like 60 frames, but yeah. Here it is, chicken gyro. And we're also getting a baba ganoush, right? Yep. What is that? It's like a grilled eggplant dip. You'll okay, see. cool. All right. Here. So I'm gonna is it playing? This. Yeah. I'm gonna try this. Wow, wait, his, wow wait. his bread is really hot. Wait, sorry, I accidentally stopped it. All right. So go back in. I'm gonna try this. Is it going? It's going. So I'm gonna try this baba ganoush. This bread is really hot. It's like burning my fingers. It's pita bread, right? Yeah. 
so is this dip. Apparently it's to die for, Rachel says. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. What is that? It has a good smoky flavor, right? Yeah. It's uh, eggplant, garlic, herbs, some other things. All right, guys, I was going to end the video. It was kind of awkward how I just cut to black, but I figured I might as well end it by saying thanks for watching um, and come back for another video, hopefully pretty soon.